to this. My first guest this afternoon is a singer, entertainer, producer, a name that you'll certainly know from his TV days and now bringing us to the stage some of the great music of Burt Bacharach. John Lidgewood is online to have a chat to us and tell us all about this show. John, how are you? Good afternoon, Lee, and listeners. Very well, thank you. Nice to have you with us, Pell. Thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule, getting everything ready, I suppose, to come up to the, the Cadinia Cultural Centre next Wednesday. Uh, absolutely. Looking forward to that very much. We, uh, we're just into our... Um, well, a couple of weeks into our season of magic moments, and uh, we're enjoying it, and it's proving very popular. And we're looking forward to Cadinia on Wednesday. Have you been up here before, John? Not to the theatre, no, no. It's a nice theatre. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Acoustically, it's beautiful. I know. We're some of the personnel there, and I'm, we are really looking forward to it. Yeah, you know Mark, do you? Mark, the other uh, manager up there? Yes, yes, Mark. Mark and, Fawcett. Uh, mm. Yes, and the tech boys. Oh, they're all great. Yeah, they, mm, they have some wonderful shows that uh, that come around there, and I'm looking forward to seeing yours next Wednesday morning as part of the uh, the morning matinees session, the music of Burt Bacharach. Tell us about your career back in the 1960s, Graham Kennedy, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Hey? I'm sorry you mentioned this. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, I've just acquired. People sent me some some um, excerpts or DVDs of Kennedy and Don Lane. Yes. Yeah, well, I started um, well, 53 years on stage now, but I'm still only 17. Yeah. Well, you sound like a teenager. Uh, yeah, why well, not? try. Yeah. But yes, the early, <laughs> early, early days of television were very good. Every, every television station had a show. Oh, they did, John. They did. Pit House Club, Peter Catchman, ABC uh, for the classics. But it was wonderful, wonderful days. Gee, you mentioned and, uh, the Penthouse Club. Goodness, that, that, yes. that, that's years ago, isn't it? Now you think yes. of Bill Collins, don't you? And yes. the, the wonderful Collins, telly Mary theatre Hardy. out of Fitzroy. Yes, yes. Mike Walsh. Yeah. Uh, I must tell you, at the telly theatre in Fitzroy, um, um, I was there singing some Sinatra, uh, Strangers in the Night, mm -hmm. and another new young fresh-faced fellow was there singing Sadie. Go and, on. Uh, and John Farnham. Yeah. 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 yeah, together there. But anyway... Yeah. 1967 <laughs> or 68, wasn't it, John? And, uh, um, yes, it would have been. I'm, I moved to Melbourne, yeah. Yes, yes. About then, the yeah. End, yeah. End, of, end of the 60s. Mm. Well, I can recall yeah. you on television. I, I'm uh, young enough to remember those days. Oh, and uh, Or yeah. old enough, whichever way you look. I'm 70 years of age, so I'm going to say, you're getting up there, aren't you? <laughs> you're, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you just pretend you're 50. <laughs> you just pretend you're 50, John. That, that's you all do, you do. Indeed. Yeah, you really do. But they will have been halcyon days for you. Great days of being on television and, and having that sort of work. They were, and mm. we're just talking about, because we've got three great uh, musicians in this cast as well, and we're just talking about the, the full-time work for musicians. Every channel had its own orchestra. Well, you know, they made Moonlight to help each other out now and again, but you know, right. these days, it's unheard of. Yeah. The, yeah. They were great days, and um, some cabaret, and then more into the uh, theatre then, before I went to uh, the UK, mm -hmm. and... Um, yeah, I love I love the music theatre. I'm uh, I'm a bit stuck on the forties, thirties, uh, and forties musicals, but certainly enjoying and loving the Bacharach, which was a, a new venture. Well, look, he's, he's got some great music, a wonderful talent, a great writer, isn't he? Great writer. Yes, but together with uh, Hal David. Mm, yes, but mm. Bert is Bert is incredible. Everything was so unique and different. Um, uh, you know, tempos, styles. Um, uh, a bit of a nightmare sometimes for musos and even singers. But he used to always say, "Well, if you can't, if you can't manage that, um, somebody else will." That's right. In a nice yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's just right, so yeah. Uh, lovely, complicated rhythms, lovely words, um, some very sentimental stuff. Well, you take that old song, uh, "I Say a Little Prayer for You," Aretha Franklin, wasn't it? And uh, that's just magnificent. It, it sounds like a nice, easy song, but yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Yes. Yes. He said, he said in an interview once that uh, they call my music easy listening. And he mm. said, I don't think there's very much easy in a lot of them at all. He admitted it. But uh, no, we've got a, a program of about 20, 21 and 22 of those great favourites and, and a wonderful cast. I'm so uh, 
proud of them. Um, musical director Linda O'Brien, some musicians, and then there's Madison Green, who's just returned from uh, uh, taking over the lead in Georgie Girl at right. times, and um, an award uh, nominee for uh, Light in the Piazza, and then we've got, uh, and she's off to Korea uh, to play a, a major role in Cats very oh, soon. Well, we just got her in time then. We did, mm. and uh, Andrew Honja Matidis, a wonderful singer dancer. Uh, he, he and Madison set the place alight. And uh, every now and again, there's an old fellow comes in and sings a couple of Perry Coman. I wonder who that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, the Catch a Falling Star? No, no. Um, um, magic Moments. Oh, fantastic. Wonderful. And Raindrops. Yep. Yeah. Good. And then, uh, then we all loosen up with some of the later things that have finished some of the Wonderful. Great and do you get to talk about Bert Bacharach and go to some of that history? Yes. You do? Yes. I, I actually narrate uh, the whole thing and go back into some of the uh, uh, the funny parts and, and some of his interviews. He didn't really like being interviewed, but then he opened up on everything. Did he? Uh, more than he should. And then, but uh, that's all, on the, <laughs> all, in the, <laughs> all in the show. We're going to hear a bit of dirt, are we? <laughs> Uh, oh no no, no. <laughs> just a just a teaser. Yes, but, a teaser. Uh, yeah, but no, he's great. And the fact is, he turns eighty nine in uh, in uh, on May the twelfth. Wow, we, where we're up at Clinton doing the show. Wow. So isn't that amazing? It he's is still amazing. meandering around the world. Is he still so, composing? Oh, I, well, I'm glad he's not decomposing. Yes, no, exactly right. I don't think I don't think you've got anything left or right, but certainly mm. still involved. In the, well, he wrote yeah. over seven seven hundred songs, wasn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, that's, that's a huge folio. It is, it is, and I think he's just enjoying everything now, and so he should. But um, no, we, we we're looking forward to a very much wonderful music uh, musical director, Linda O'Brien, who's been with me for quite some time. And more or less a couple of local top musicians, Barry Boyce, tenor and sax and soprano sax, and probably one of the best drummers in Australia, Ron Sandilands. Uh, so we've got a nice mix. Uh, Some Liam, wonderful we're talent. We're looking forward to it very much. Mm. John, how did you get into this sort of uh, area of your career? Um, well, I, I first started um, as a drummer and still do quite a bit of percussion work, but mm. then I, um, I studied classically uh, for opera, and did uh, did some of that um, operetta. I've always uh, I've always loved that. Um, studied, come down to the conservatorium here and uh, and studied basically for opera. We studied the classical voice uh, for production of the classical voice. But then I got the um, leading role of or a leading role of Freddie in My Fair Lady in, in 1970, and that took me off uh, for two or three years. And my love of music theatre was embellished there during those days. A um, couple of roles, lovely roles in London, and um, all sorts of work, a lot of cabaret work, and uh, but always loving the musicals, especially the, the musicals of Carl Porter and Gershwin and Irving Berlin and and Jerome Kern. Those that we've we've run through those, and it was exciting then to bring in the idea of Bert Bacharach, who. Uh, mm. Who's been around so long? And of course, the audiences, um, these particular audience of the daytime shows, they uh, they grew up with Bacharach. That, that's right. Mm. That's right. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, we we did. And uh, the nineteen seventies, heading to the nineteen eighties, and very very much the music was so so popular. And you, you you take him not in the same genre, but along the lines of Ray Conniff. You had Ray Conniff and the singers who produced some great stuff in the fifties and sixties, and you know yeah. Tara's theme, somewhere my love, and so on. And then you've got um, you know Bert Bacharach and these wonderful people who gave us music, not the stuff we get today, but we've got music and meaning in the words. Yeah, yeah, very important. Um, very important, but sometimes neglected. Yeah, most uh, certainly. Might be, it might be a good modern uh, modern melody, but uh, mm. the words sometimes uh, don't add up to me. But it's the repetition, John. Yeah, that's yeah, what sure. gets me. It's yeah. over and over and over again. Yeah. What, what's your favourite Bert Bacharach song? Ah, gee, I do. Um, well, everybody has to love what the world needs now. Um, he's great. Um, international outstanding that's what friends are for of course and all that that came along at the right time for the mm, world yeah close to you i know made uh, made uh, famous by the carpenters that's a great song it is a great song and um yeah guys in love with you andrew does beautifully anyone who had a heart 
and um, you know, never fall in love again. The two of them doing that, it's, uh, it's wonderful. It's just terrific. Uh, mm. And a beautiful little piece called Blue on Blue, quite different. And, uh, yes, yes. It sits right up in the That's top right. of the uh, of Madison's voice, and she does uh, does that beautifully. Yeah, too. It sort of sits away in the cover that one, Blue on Blue. And uh, yes, it does. Don't so hear it a lot, but it's a very, very nice song. I'm glad I put it in, and I insisted on it. Um, mm. and she said, I thought, no, this is such a a variation of some of the other things. It is. And, of course, Arthur's theme and, and Walk On By, they're, they're all, they've all got something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, looking forward to it very, very much. It's uh, on Wednesday next week, and uh, the morning tea is at 11. I suppose you'll get to afternoon tea when you're finished. But <laughs> Well, it'd be, it'd be nice to have a homemade uh, scone or a, home, a homemade passion fruit sponge, if I can put that out somewhere. Hey, wouldn't that be all right? I thought you were going to bring that up yourself. No, do you bake a nice sponge, do you? No, no, I, I eat enough sponge. <laughs> so I don't bake. No. Good on you. No. Music of Bert Bacharach. It's the morning matinees uh, next week, the 5th of April. Uh, I had a look online yesterday. I, I've got three tickets. We're heading along there on Wednesday to see you. And oh, um, it's at 10 a.m. of the morning tea, 11 a.m. performance. It's $20 a ticket, and there are still a few tickets left. Now, they are selling very, very fast, but there's a few there. So if you want to pick up one of these tickets, friends, um, contact the Cardinia Cultural Centre. Go online and get yourself a couple of tickets. Pop along and see this show. John, lovely to catch up with you. Thank you very, very much for your time today, pal, and we'll see you on Wednesday. A great pleasure, Lee. Thank you. Take and thank care. you, listeners. Look forward to seeing them too. See you then. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.